Memphis. It's a small town where big things happen. And at the center of this town are people that have fought to make it a pleasant place to live. From local favorites like the Donut Girls, Arctic Queen, The Dog House, Sage Creek Winery, and The Party Store, to newer hits like the Beef Fit Exercise and Fitness Center, this town fights to keep its traditions. But at the center of the town is its school, and most importantly, the students that make it special. On May the 4th, and may the 4th be with you, the school would like to make the community aware of two proposals. The first is the renewal of the operating millage, which is a non-homestead property tax and is a common millage that most communities use to keep their school functioning. This is a renewal and covers about 16.5% of our operating revenues, which comes to about $1,500 per student that the state assumes a school will levy and collect. The second proposal you'll see on the ballot is a renewal of our current one mill sinking fund millage. This proposal, similar to the operating millage, is also a renewal, meaning something we've been doing already. Now, you may be asking yourself, what exactly is a sinking fund, and what is my hard-earned money going towards? What did I think of the first time I heard the term sinking fund? Words like levy, mills, property tax, get my head spinning in circles. But really, it comes down to this. A sinking fund is a limited property tax considered a pay-as-you-go method for funding building maintenance and infrastructure projects. Pretty much, if you live in the Memphis School District, you'll continue to pay property taxes that'll go towards anything on the school property that wouldn't fall out if it were ever turned upside down and shook. But that still wasn't simple enough for me, so here goes nothing. Let's say the taxable value of your home is $1,000. Side note, typically your taxable value is about half of your market value. You would pay $1 a year to support the school's sinking fund millage. One more example, your home is on the market for $100,000. That would put your taxable value somewhere around $50,000. That would mean you would be contributing $50 a year to the school's sinking fund millage for the next five years. Side note and reminder, we have already been doing this. The proposal is to go for another five years, from 2022 to 2026. The next question is, where is my money going? No, not down the toilet, but it could be used for buying new toilets. The last sinking fund allowed us to redo the high school gym floor, a floor that other schools looking to do the same have come by to check out because they love the new look. Replace elementary bleachers because kids were tired of getting literal slivers in there. Install a sally port at the high school main entrance, making it so that not just any Joe Schmo off the street can walk in and sell God knows what to our children. Replace all lighting, exterior and interior, in the entire district, saving us money every year. Replace a boiler and control system at the elementary school. Chromebooks so our precious dearies could learn remotely for the past year, teacher computers, buzzer entrances at both buildings, roof repairs at the junior senior high school, drain repairs, and filling potholes throughout the entire district parking lots, as well as repair and replacing some floor tiles <coughs> in both buildings. This seems like a lot, and it is. But meanwhile, we still have elementary children freezing in classrooms due to antiquated heating units, roof issues, parking lots that need to be milled down and resurfaced, outdoor spaces needing redesigned for outdoor learning and socializing when indoors is continuing to be looked at as a risk, outdated bathrooms, and added security issues that need to be addressed for our kids and staff to continue to feel safe. It's small, but it's ours, and the people in it are mighty. Let's show our desire to keep our Memphis traditions strong and vote on May 4th.